All right, guys, thanks for joining. Today we are testing every single mask that you can buy on Amazon. A little crazy, but we gotta do it. Today I'm looking specifically at the Nickelodeon Paw Patrol mask. Now this is the first time I've seen a major legitimate brand actually create a mask. And actually, I think this is great. I think this is a great thing. I mean, we'll see how well it does with the test, but like, I think this is a very positive thing because if you want kids to really understand that they need to wear masks, they gotta feel like they can connect to it in some way. So I think that Nickelodeon doing this is a big step. They're, uh, they've got the Paw Patrol characters, which we all know and love if we have kids. This was sold for $18.41. That is well over a dollar a mask, which is insane. But again, this is a major brand putting something together for kids. And so I'm, I'm, I don't hate it. Um, now, of course, these are made in China. Um, uh, just because most things are in the United States. And it has to say on the box and it says it's made in China. So let's go ahead and pop this guy in here. Okay, perfect. And let's let her rip and see what this gives us. Um, just because they're so cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh. I love these little masks. Oh my gosh. This is the smallest mask I've ever seen. It's so cute. I love that. Uh, go ahead, here you go, you can try one. Uh, I don't like that the packaging is not sealed. Uh, actually it is. I'm on, so I love that. Great, Nickelodeon, great job. They sealed the packaging. I'm gonna see if they have uh, any smell on them. And it does, oh, why? It has a weird smell. I'm gonna call this, I got one. I'm gonna call this smell, um, Playing at a recently cleaned daycare. And there's only a couple reasons you got to recently clean a daycare. That's all I'm going to say. Um, now, it doesn't smell great, um, but a lot, of, a lot of these masks don't. Uh, okay, I'm looking at the welds on this. This is something that we haven't done much. That just comes right apart. That's not good. Uh, this is use, it uses a sonic welding technology uh, to put these together. And the fact that, it's, that it opens that easily is is not good especially if you're paying a dollar a mask like i i don't like that that opens way too easily like uh it's just pulling apart and i barely have to pull it especially with a kid a kid's going to easily be able to pull that apart so i don't like that the ear loops though holy i think these ear loops are better than our ears these are, i mean i'm railing on this guy here this is crazy that is like it feels like rope the real question is what does this machine say we know the airflow is pretty good that means the breathability is really good but what is the efficiency? There are zero claims for efficiency on here. There are zero claims for efficiency on this box. So what do you think it is? Let's go with 89. 89%. Nope. 76.532%. These are the worst masks we have tested today. Nickelodeon. Ah, you guys were so close. The packaging, beautiful. The ear loops, beautiful. The efficiency, awful. Uh, epidemiologists typically recommend that a mask has a minimum efficiency of 80%. That's worldwide. The minimum standard for the United States is 95%. This is 76%. I wouldn't give it to my kids, but it looks great. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, and if you're about to buy these masks and didn't, that's probably useful. Give me a like and a subscribe. I know you're not gonna watch any more of these, it's fine. I'm not gonna make sure that you subscribed and came back. Just hit the button. All right, thanks very much. See you on the next test.